Okay, so Log 4J is an absolute doozy of a vulnerability. But before we go on, let me just tell you that Assyrian products don't use Java, so they don't use that library, so they are not subject to that vulnerability. But I think it's worth talking about this vulnerability, what it does and how it can be exploited. Effectively, it is a vulnerability that has the three big issues that we need to worry about. First of all, you can run arbitrary code through a remote command that is completely unauthenticated. So that's what gives it its sort of CVS threat level of 10, which is effectively the worst that you can get. But to actually exploit this threat, you need to be running this library on a server that's running a program that's doing something important that has good connections back to your own network, or it needs to be an application that's doing something quite important that's passing through quite important user data. And in our view, the important pieces of user data that might be getting passed through here are firstly credentials. So uh, are people able to um, put in uh, commands or create events that create log messages that allow you to run arbitrary code that say, um, take the location of the memory here and move it to another location over here, which the attacker can see through the same application and then wait until a credential appears here and then effectively steal the credential. Now, having stolen the credential, can you use the credential? Because if that application has MFA, then you won't be able to directly use uh, that credential. But you might be able to do other things. So for example, you might be able to say, uh, take this location here and change the value from this email address to another email address, and then uh, use the old, I've lost my password, get the reset link sent back to uh, an address that the attacker knows, and then the attacker can take over the account from there. So it's all about taking over the account. And as with all of these things, it's all about monetization. So if they can do things like take over your account, order things, change shipping addresses and things like that, then that's how they're going to attack your organization. If they can go further and get even more code uh, executed, and you need to understand that they're effectively executing code through a tiny little sort of keyhole niche, they might be able to get enough code in that can say, okay, I want you to move this data from here, or I want you to execute this external command. And the important thing about executing the external commands is that your server is very likely to be running in a privileged context in the first place. So this is why fixing vulnerabilities is so important. But the next stage of fixing vulnerabilities is to understand what an attacker wants to gain out of a vulnerability or the use of a vulnerability. And there is no question about it, it is going to be credentials. Because once they capture credentials, they can then move in and get the real data that they need, which might be credit card information, which might be um, a mechanism to breach into your VPNs and then uh, get ransomware installed and do all of the other things that are very effective for cyber criminals to extract a monetary reward out of their activities these days. Anyway, that was my little rundown on Log4j. Back to work.